Blood tests can focus on different things, from your blood cells, to minerals, to other substances like proteins and chemicals. These tests can help us understand the body's condition, monitor chronic conditions like diabetes, and determine if treatments are working. Blood tests are a non-invasive way of monitoring the function of your organs. Blood tests can be affected by your diet or medications, which is why doctors will sometimes ask you to fast before your blood test. Blood tests are pretty new. Some of the earliest records of blood testing was from ancient China, where blood from a father and son were dropped into a bowl of water to determine if they were related. Obviously, this was very unreliable. Fast forward to more modern times, in the late 1800s, where blood testing was closer to what we know today, but it was also very unreliable because it was done by hand. It wasn't until the 1950s when machines could perform blood tests that blood tests became more common in laboratories and in research. Blood tests are very useful in research. They are a crucial tool in clinical research. Today, we are joined by Dr. Bosma Ahmed, who will provide some insights into how blood tests are used in research and why they are important. This is Dr. Basma Ahmed. I am currently a second year uh, fellow in uh, the clinical biochemistry program at McMaster University. I hold a medical degree from Egypt and uh, a master's degree in physiology from University de Montréal and a PhD degree in biochemistry from McMaster University. Could you tell us a little bit about how blood tests are processed? So tests in the clinical laboratory generally pass through three phases. What we call pre-analytical phase, which starts from the collection then until the processing. And then we have the analytical phase, which is running the order test. And finally, we have the post-analytical phase, which is um, from uh, the analysis until releasing the results. In summary, the process starts by sample collection. Uh, we also call this um, as phlebotomy, um, where you go to the clinic or the collection center and the blood will be taken uh, from you by a phlebotomist. After the collection, blood needs to be transported to the lab as soon as possible. The way of transportation, the temperature, and other factors need to be considered according to uh, what test uh, we need uh, to run on this sample. Once received by the laboratory, the laboratory assistant uh, finds the tests that are ordered on each sample and then direct these samples accordingly. Some tests need to be done on the serum or the plasma portion of the blood. So a separation step will be needed or what we call uh, it as centrifugation. Um, but while other tests can be done on a whole blood sample, um, like the complete blood count or the CBC, samples then get analyzed uh, or uh, they can also be stored to be transported to other labs uh, for analysis if this is needed. And after the analysis, the laboratory technologist will check the results and then release them to the ordering professional. How would you say that processing for blood tests is different between maybe clinical and research purposes? Clinical laboratories receive uh, research uh, samples, at least at in our institute at the Hamilton Health Sciences. Um, the steps will be uh, pretty much similar um, to what uh, I just uh, said, uh, but uh, sometimes these uh, samples will not be registered in our laboratory information system because they are not being ordered by uh, uh, healthcare professionals. So how are blood tests used in research, sort of in general? Um, the reason for testing blood samples for research purposes will differ definitely according to the research question. Uh, for example, blood samples can be tested to find um, a new biomarker for a disease or a health condition um, and then tested um, uh, if these findings translate uh, from preclinical research into uh, uh, research in humans. Um, they can also be used to investigate the safety of new medications um, and their side effects. Um, also in the clinical laboratory, um, we use blood samples to validate or verify a new testing methods to ensure uh, they meet the acceptable performance criteria before we make them available for clinical use. What you use blood tests for in your labs or research? 
Um, I can speak about my PhD research projects where I use blood samples. In my project, um, there were like previous preclinical research that we also did in the lab uh, that were, um, was done in mice. A and we found a relationship between a special type of fat called brown fat or brown adipose tissue and a hormone that is called uh, serotonin. Um, and this hormone can be measured in blood samples. So uh, we were looking to investigate if this relationship exists in humans. Um, if there are um, uh, any differences uh, in the liver health um, uh, between individuals with or without um, brown adipose tissue activity. So for this, we tested blood samples that uh, we collected from um, uh, individuals who volunteered to help in our research project. And we tested these blood samples for serotonin, liver markers, and other markers related to metabolic health. What are some current issues or aspects of blood tests for research that you think uh, could be improved? I think it is very important to improve and establish collaboration between researchers and laboratory professionals, like biochemists, for example, especially when planning for clinical research that include collection, sample collection uh, for, clin for laboratory testing. Also include uh, other sample types like urine samples, stool samples, and many other samples uh, that we test in the clinical laboratory. So um, laboratory professionals can advise uh, on the best way to collect the sample, how to transport it, how to store samples, process it, and testing all the sample types. So it is important to establish this relationship. So what are some future possibilities for improving blood tests? For research and also clinical purposes, Purposes, I think finding easy ways to collect blood samples is very important, especially for studies that include many participants. Um, also finding ways to collect small volume of uh, blood is very important in certain populations like uh, in infants and children and our older adults. So one of the emerging ways to satisfy these points is to use what we call dried blood spot collection. What is a dried blood spot? These are small devices or cards um, that can be mailed to the participants and allow them to collect capillary blood um, at their homes uh, by just finger uh, pricking. And they collect this blood on the card and they can mail this card or the kit uh, back to the lab for analysis. With Dr. Basma Ahmed, we've learned that blood tests are more than just routine procedures. And through advancement in blood testing, we can look forward to a future where research and medical care is more personalized, proactive, and effective.